This is a female green anaconda. He's pushing almost 19 feet in length. He's a heavy snake. Now, if that bear that was just out here and this snake were fighting, who would win? It would be pretty ugly. But my bet, my money would be on the anaconda. Really? Because if this snake could grab on and wrap around and squeeze, there's really is no escape from it. They're just so incredibly but powerful. An animal like this could eat in weight twice of that bear. <laughs> The longest snake species in the world is a reticulated python, and they average killing and eating one person per year. So they're kind of pretty exciting snakes. Right, right. Really exciting. These are the giant pythons of the world. And they constrict their prey. They're, they're, mate, they're so strong, like, incredibly strong. Like, squeeze the living daylights. Look, till your eyes pop. Sure, stop. yeah, 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 yeah. What's snake. the length of that snake, by the way? Um, just over 22 feet and over 200 pounds. Right. Could it, if it crushed me to death, would it then swallow me and eat me, or it's not that kind? Uh, it'd swallow you and eat you. Right. <laughs> green anaconda versus reticulated python. Who would win in a fight? Let's start with some basic facts. The green anaconda is the largest snake in the world. They belong to the boa family. Green anacondas are green in color with black blotches along the length of their body. They live in swamps, marshes, and slow moving streams, mainly in the tropical rainforest of the Amazon and Orinoco basins. These guys are slow and sluggish on land, but stealthy and sleek in the water. The reticulated python is the longest snake in the world. They belong to the Pythonidae family. Retics can be identified by the reticulated or net like pattern. These guys are found in Asia. Their habitat includes rainforest, wetlands, grasslands and woodlands. Now let's talk about size. According to National Geographic, green anacondas can grow to more than 29 feet in length, weigh more than 550 pounds and measure more than 12 inches in diameter. Their head is narrow compared to the body. The eyes are set high on the head, allowing the snake to see out of the water while swimming without exposing its body. Reticulated pythons reach slightly longer lengths than green anaconda, over 10 meters. Comparatively, retics are slender. For the same length, green anacondas are almost twice as heavy as reticulated pythons. In both snakes, the females are larger and more powerful. Despite being in different families, both snakes have a lot of similarities. Both snakes have thousands of muscles in their bodies to constrict or squeeze the life out of its prey. Their jaw rests on a multi-hinge joint that provides incredible flexibility and enables the snake to devour large prey. The lower jaw is made up of two bones linked by an elastic ligament which allows these snakes to swing its mouth two to three times wider than its skull when swallowing prey. They have a total of six rows of teeth, two rows in their upper jaw, two rows in their lower jaw and two in the roof of their mouths. Each of these rows can move separately to walk over its prey. The teeth are sharp and curved inwards, perfect for catching and clinging onto prey. Both of these snakes have jaw pressure powerful enough to penetrate the hide of an alligator. Now let's talk about diet. Both snakes are solitary and stealthy hunters, and both snakes rely on ambush. The green anaconda prefers to ambush its prey from water bodies. When in range, they strike with their six rows of teeth and constrict their prey, squeezing the life out of them. The squeeze is strong enough to halt breathing and break bones. The pressure cuts off blood flow to the heart, stopping the prey start and resulting in immediate death. Green anacondas are perhaps the most powerful constrictors, squeezing with a force of over 90 psi. This amount of pressure is equivalent to having a school bus on your chest. Swallowing a large meal can take up to 8 hours but can sustain the snake for months. Green anacondas will eat anything from rodents and birds to caimans, capybaras and sometimes even jaguars. Adult reticulated pythons will eat anything they can overpower or swallow including deers, pigs, goats, etc. In one case, a 7 meter long reticulated python killed and consumed a sun bear. On rare occasions, reticulated pythons have been known to kill and swallow a fully grown human being. On the other hand, cases of anacondas hunting and swallowing a human is very rare and almost unheard of. Now let's jump to the conclusion. Well, I hate to break it up to you, but if these snakes were to face each other, they probably won't fight. But this doesn't mean we cannot determine which one of these two is a more powerful predator. And according to the numbers, it is pretty evident that the green anaconda is the stronger one. But the truth is that green anacondas don't really grow that long. They might, but usually they don't. This is the same case with reticulated pythons. As a matter of fact, there has never been a 30 feet long snake that has been verified. But reticulated pythons hit the 24 feet mark more often than the green anaconda hits the 20 feet mark. And at this length difference, the reticulated python is almost as girthy as the anaconda. But when it comes to constriction or the squeeze, I have said that anacondas are the most powerful constrictor. But this doesn't mean that reticulated pythons are not powerful constrictors. The retic has a very powerful constriction, but maybe not as much as the anaconda. In simple words, it's like getting run over by a tank and getting run over by a slightly smaller tank. An autopsy of a victim of a reticulated python revealed that most of his bones were broken. In my opinion, the retic is a more powerful snake. I'll tell you why. Anacondas are well equipped in the water bodies and so are retics, but on the land, anacondas are slow and sluggish, whereas retics are much better.
Athletics are also master tree climbers. Now let's look at some videos. In this fight between a green anaconda and a jaguar, the jaguar kills the snake. In this video, a similar size reticulated python fights with a tiger. The fight ends up in a draw with both predators going their separate ways. But the same python then takes down a leopard. In my opinion, the green anaconda might be a slightly powerful squeezer, but retics are faster and more agile, which in overall makes them a more powerful predator than a green anaconda. The anacondas, the Indian pythons and the African pythons, all big powerful snakes, but nothing matches the power of a retic. You put your hand there, you try and squeeze the body, it's total muscle, it's like spring steel, you cannot believe it. Maria Munoz grabbed an 18-foot anaconda with her bare hands. But that won't work with reticulated pythons. Their aggressiveness may be what's protecting them from hungry predators, like leopards and tigers. A snake hunting human-sized prey would have to be big and bold. Conclusion, retics are the queen of snakes.